Hey guys, welcome back to the Avalon MSL round of 32, Group E, second match between Upmagic and Horang, or Horang 2, or Horangi if you prefer. I'll just call him Horang from this point on. Good to see Upmagic back in the MSL. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to go very far. Uh, Horang been a great player for height. Very good player. Upmagic, of course, one of those Eastro guys where Eastro just really needs the help. Always needs the help. This is going to be on the third incarnation of Carthage. Which, it's odd, the map statistics between all three of the different maps has been pretty balanced, but I almost feel like this is a map that should favor one race or the other just because of its features. 6 o'clock position, we have Harangue, by the way, in yellow. 12 o'clock position, Up Magic in red. Up Magic, a very clever player, very good at uh, kind of disguising his army size, things like that. People call him the Southpaw because oftentimes it'll look like he's in a weak position, but he just comes back and stomps his opponent. It'll kind of show that to his opponent. But anyway... We'll see how this match comes out. Both players are very creative. Both players creative pulling off cheese. Both players pulling of, uh, capable, I should say, of pulling off something creative into the mid game. We'll see how it comes out, though. And on this map, yeah, I don't know what to think of it. It's one of those maps you do have that secondary that doesn't have a ramp, which makes me think, hey, well, if you can't block, if you don't have that ramp to really help as a Terran, and you don't have it where you can kind of arc over with your siege tanks, so you got to build that extra large wall, which makes it more difficult to take your secondary. And there's a big kind of open space over the main and over the secondary, so I almost feel like, hey, well, there's that big open space, so DT drops and Reaver drops should be pretty effective, but at the same time, right over the secondary, it is buildable. A lot of area in the middle of the map, it's hard for a Terran player to really get a flank on, or I should say a Protoss player to get a flank, because there's just not a lot of angles you can come at the Terran opponent, aside from just head-on. There's two lanes, but once they're kind of established position above those ramps in the middle of the map, there's not a lot you can do as far as flanks or kind of counter positions. So Terran can actually, once they've got a decent sized army, just keep pushing forward. And once they have that contain outside your secondary, you're pretty much screwed as a, as a Terran player. So I feel like it's up to the Protoss to win this match in the very early game. They've got to be aggressive early, either with uh, Reaver drops. I think DT drops are very strong on this map. Or you can go 10-15 gate. Again, it's, I think you can always do that whenever you don't have that ramp to work against with the myth chance. Looks like up magic in, in the meantime sealing his front door, which leads me to believe he might be going for something sneakier. Keep that probe scout out of his base. But So Protoss, I really feel, got to win it in the early game, but if Terran can get that secondary up and running, I almost feel like they get a death grip into the mid and late game. So we'll see how it goes. Between these two players, at the moment, I'm going to favor Harangue, just because I feel like he's a little bit... He's a smarter player at the moment. I think Upmagic's the smarter player over history and over time, but at the moment, I feel like Upmagic hasn't been playing as well, and it looks like Upmagic just isolating that single SCV to gas, so he is planning on going for that machine shop. And also going to try to get his secondary out. But Harang, a very, yeah, he's very clever. He's been playing pretty well lately, pretty consistently well, I would say. Whereas Up Magic, he's just been fluctuating uh, the same way that Iris and Nada have. And I feel like this is his weaker matchup as well. So it's, yeah, this is the matchup that it's, it, what is it? What is he statistically? I'm going to look it up right now, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Look at that. It's actually right in the background. 44% versus Protoss right now which is by far his weakest matchup. I don't know why that is. You'd think a guy of his caliber, of his creativity, would be able to come up with something, but really known for being strong mech versus Zerg. First Dragoon popping out. I'm not sure if we saw a second gateway or not. SCV's going to at least... Oh, let's see if he can sneak by. Oh, no! Fire there by the Dragoon. The Dragoon glitching out there for a second. So it looks like he is going to be able to wander in. See that there's no second gateway. He's going to see that robotics facility with the spin. And it looks like we are going to see some sort of drop tech one direction or the other. He's not going to get a good look at whether it is the Citadel or whether it is the Robotics Facility. And it looks like it is the Citadel going down, so we're probably going to see Dark Templar here into the mix. And I like that decision. I feel like Dark Templar are very good on this map. Up Magic in the meantime, seeing just that single gateway, going to take a secondary and plop down a Machine Shop. Got a single Vulture out. Mines would be a very, very good <laughs> idea here. And two, uh, it looks like those two Dragoons now going to wander out there. And the Vulture going to go the long way around. But this is going to give an opportunity for that probe to run in and scout, maybe. And looks like he is, in fact, going to be able to do that with that Vulture out of position. That Vulture kind of trying to pull the long way around. Fortunately for Hrang, he's still got that position locked with those Dragoons on his front. He's moving out right now, and it looks like that Vulture wandering back around. So there might be a little bit of an opportunity here, and it looks like Hrang going to take an expansion here. Interesting. So putting down the Citadel and now taking an expansion, so teching and expanding at the same time, keeping a low troop count, just hoping that Up Magic is going to play a little bit more defensively into the mid game. This is a very dangerous moment. This is huge. He's got to block this scout, otherwise he's going to get absolutely rocked. There's a robotics facility. So basically, what his plan here is, is oh, this is huge. If he cannot stop this vulture scout, 
up magic will most certainly win the game in my opinion and it looks like the vulture is going to be able to wander in he is going to see the nexus and which is going to trigger a little bit more aggressive play rather than passive play and i'm not sure that those dark temple are going to be able to do enough for harangue to really keep up magic back as long as up magic gets a couple mines out gets uh, a turret or two he's still going to be able to push out against a much smaller attack force now the scv is transferring let's see if he what he he does have that academy up yeah, I feel like Harang's going to end up in a bad position now. He, first of all, he's not going to be able to take the economic lead here. And he was basically the plan out of this for Harang is, okay, I'm going to go drop Dark Templar, take a quick uh, a quick third, and I've already got my second up. But um, but yeah, right here, without that second gateway, without the... Uh, basically, what you're kind of relying on is, is, yeah, you're tearing opponent to play a little bit more passively in this rather than getting aggressive. And I think Up Magic is going to be a little bit more aggressive after seeing that secondary being built so quickly immediately afterwards and the Dark Templar looks like they're going to kind of wander out on the ground rather than waiting for that shuttle now and yeah there's the, uh, there's the attack troops already pressing up in the field and oh two mines right in the way for Harangue so he's going to eat one right there now trying to turn around he does know that mines have been upgraded out in the field up magic already pressing down with it you can already see the troops pressing down he's pr going to be able to get a front door contain on Harangue and I just feel like that one vulture scout was absolutely everything here now a forge being built to try to provide a little bit of additional defense a, a couple pylons as well and with that one comp set and the Dark Templar in position he's not going to get anywhere he's not going to be able to provide nearly enough defense and that secondary going to get crushed up magic just barreling down building the engineering bay in the background doesn't even have an scv on the front door the dark temple are actually wandering back he's going to try to hop in that shuttle and maybe do some well he's not even going to be able to do some drops against this because a single comp set and uh, maybe he can just drain the comp set with this but the mines already in position maybe he can drag the mines into this there's the comp set dark Templar getting taken out bad micro there for harangue and he's going to end up losing this match now a high Templar being produced with maybe i don't think he's got psy storm up but maybe a quick psy storm will help balance this out i still don't think he has enough attack troops to really uh, assist with that but there goes that nexus already down in the game already has a de wow up magic already has a death grip here on the secondary has that noose up he's already taking a third as well and then inside six and there's not a lot harang can do now into this match and that oh wow that was a really nice explosion right there um so, so that helps out a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Again, trying to drag that mine over. Uh, not quite able to get a lot done with it. And the Vulture's just going to wander in, just surround those, just plant a lot more mines around those gateways, surround those Dragoons, and uh, kill some probes just freely. Yeah, Up Magic can afford to do this. Dark Templar getting taken out, so there's that. And there's, oh, that's the purpose of that forge. Get a cannon to, to try to minimize. Ooh, wow, how did that Dark Templar survive? He just ate three mines, I guess kind of at an awkward angle. Um, and a couple more mines. Able to get a little bit more of a drag there uh, and take some stuff out, but... Yeah, those two tanks to the north, another High Templar was actually produced, so actually I guess that was that first High Templar. But still, Up Magic has these attack forces in there, and they're just going to be GG from Harang. Hope you guys enjoyed it, nevertheless. And uh, yeah, let's see how long this takes to process. Thanks for listening, guys.